Welcome into the Golden Eagle Spotlight. It's Brad Galley here in Studio 7 at Johnson Hall. Joining me is Junior Kadugan in the men's basketball team. Junior, thanks for being here, buddy. Yeah, not, I feel nice to be here. Yeah, your first visit in the studio here. Yeah. And uh, yesterday, um, we were talking with Darius Johnson Odom. I had a chance to catch up with him. I said, yeah. you know, how good can Junior Kadugan be next year? Because we saw you play in certain spurts this year. He said he, he's going to be one of the best guards in the Big East next year. But then he cautiously said, don't tell him I said that because I want him <laughs> to work hard. What's your relationship with Darius like, and what does it mean to hear something like that? You know, uh, Darius is my boy. You know, before I got injured, you know, it was me, Darius, um, Maurice, and Kobe, you know, going at it. And, you know, I was the youngest, but, you know, I held my own. And, you know, after I got injured, it, it, it was sad and stuff. But he knew that I was still there. You know, ready to play anytime. How would you answer that question? How good can Junior Kadugan be come next season? See, right now, I can say that Junior Kadugan is way behind, and he has a a lot of a lot of work to do and a lot of catching up to do. You know, he's he's basically starting over again. You know, so I just got to work hard and see what happens. You're not really starting over in essence. I mean, you 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 came back, worked so hard to get back from that tough injury that a lot of people wrote you off for the year for. Yeah. How vital was that experience when Buzz put you in at Syracuse until the game in Washington? I mean, he trusted you. How vital was that experience for you going forward? It's crazy because Buzz didn't tell me he was going to put me in the game at Syracuse. I just, you know, I got dressed every time, you know, just waiting to play, you know, just waiting for my opportunity. And, you know, Buzz is all about trust. And, you know, when he, when he called my name at Syracuse in front of 27, uh, thousand I was like oh <laughs> when I got on the court you know that's my comfort zone yeah. I just got comfortable you know and I was ready to play it says a lot especially coming in as a freshman I'm sure a lot of people will be scared in that situation but you seem to thrive in that in, in, in that spotlight and something Buzz talked about at his end of the season press conference was the fact that when you stepped in in practice that allowed Maurice to run the point guard against you. Mm -hmm. He said you were so key to the success this team had late in the season, not just because you could come in and you know give Maurice a break on the, on, on the court or they could, you could get the experience, but because you were such an important part of practice. Mm -hmm. What did you bring to the table in practice and, and you know, what are you looking to take going into the off season now? Well, you know, when, when I first came off the injury and I, and I first, you know, had my first couple of practices, I'm like, man, I'm way behind, so I just got to come in right away and, you know, set a tone like I'm here, like, guys, I'm here, you know, I haven't left. So my first couple of practices, you know, I just went hard, you know, and uh, I, I did, you could say I did a good job. And then from then, you know, I was like, man, I could, I could play, like, you know. It was that transition was that easy? I mean, you set in right away and yeah, everyone like noticed that you were good to go? Everyone noticed I was good to go. I was asking my teammates. I, you know, talked to a couple of people and they're like, yeah, man, you, you could play, like, you know. Yeah. And after I'm like, yeah, I know I could play. And then after I was like, all right, I'm going to suit up, guys. And then, you know, from then, you know, it practice kept on going and going on. I got better, 1% better every day, and just made things better. That's the mantra Buzz is set for this team. I've heard so many of your teammates say 1% better each day. And I think a guy we've talked about already that has echoed that and, and played so well this season was Darius Johnson Odom. Yeah. What's it going to mean and what's it going to feel like next year when you're going to suit up ideally at the point guard position, starting alongside a guard like Darius Johnson Odom, who could arguably want, be one of the best in the Big East at the two guard position, mm -hmm. and then a guy like Vander Blue who's coming in. Are you excited for that? Yeah, I'm really excited. You know, we're going to have a lot of explosive, fast players that could really go up and down. It'll be real fun. You got that explosive part of your game? Because I know, you know, we've talked, you said you were slowed a little bit by that injury, and yeah. people said, you know, we can see Junior's got it. You got that quick step, though, coming next year? I'm not going to say anything, you know. I'm going <laughs> I'm to I'm I'm surprise people, though. All right, Junior. With my explosiveness. We look forward to those surprises, buddy. Thanks yeah. for coming on here in Studio 7. Appreciate right. you joining us. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot, buddy. Oh, yeah. You can catch all these interviews at MUTVSports.com and at GoMarquette.com. Thanks for joining us, friends.